White team, white team. Woo! Spring A. Okay, we're vlogging. It's great to be a tiger. This is probably the most strategic spring game decision that I think has had to be made yet. You've got four choices. You've got two offenses to choose from or two defenses to choose from. If you pick that a defense first, the other coach gets automatically gets the other defense. Tails. Okay, who are you going with? Defense of A. Defense A. That's a huge not a good move. I really think it comes down to the running back position, CJ. Am I right? I'm going to roll with offense B, Thomas and the boys. Wow. Wow. Loaded coin, first of all. But you know what? I like my team. I like being on the visitor side. We're taking this thing on the road. Feeling good. I've got the team that I wanted. Game's not played on paper. we got to go out there and do what we have to do. And we're going to win in the fourth. You understand? Because we play four quarters around here, not just a half. Yeah, I'm going Team White, man. You already know what it is, man. Y'all ain't gonna do nothing. Y'all ain't gonna do nothing, man. Over with. Team White, man. Team White! Team White! Team White! You know what's going on. Hey, Lisa, Lisa. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Lisa, Lisa. You know we Team White. You know we gonna get it done. We gonna get the dub. You know me and my boy J-Mac? Oh, he ain't even here no more. But we gonna still get the dub. Team White all the way, man. Come on. Oh, I say probably like 21 10, probably 24 10. I say 24 to 10. Orange? Orange, of course. Orange, of course. The one thing we talked all about last year, what was that one word we talked all about last year in the offseason, getting ready for the season? We talked, we talked, that my, that's my word, but we, in the weight room, we talked about that finish. We talked about finish, all right? And man, what a great finish. You know, this ring will kind of represent that. And uh, so we'll, we'll put it up and you guys can see it. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of things, you know, as we, as we put these rings together, we try to try to let it tell a story. It's one of those things that you guys will keep for, for the rest of your life. And hopefully it'll, it'll remind you of something. You know, we've got 10 orange stones, all right? We had 10 players on the all ACC team inside the ring. Really big deal, back to back, undefeated at home. Uh, First time that's happened since the 40s. Uh, on the bottom of the ring, got what we talked about right here. We talked about finish. And uh, man, what a finish it was. What a finish it was. Uh, 11, 10 win seasons in a row. You know, put that up there big. That what a, what a huge accomplishment. Three teams in the history of college football, 160 years of college football, can say they've done that. Really unbelievable accomplishment. And then the consistency. We finished top 15 10 years in a row, seven state championships in a row. Now, what a huge deal for this program. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Here it is. DJ, DJ. Let's see what we got here. DJ. Hit him with the Johnny Dang over, man. Johnny Dang. Wow. DJ. Sheesh. Sheesh. 11 10 plus win seasons. Top 15, 10 years in a row, seven times state champs. Cheese at Bowl, 81. Finish, baby. We finished. Yeah, he's big boy eyes. Showtime. I done messed up now. Spring ball. It is, isn't it? Dang, you should have said that. That kind of made me sad. The mic hot, the mic hot. <laughs> Can't even trust me no more. It's an informant. Slow down, slow down. There you go. Hands up, Pa. Y'all see what he been doing. Y'all see the spring he been having. Cuddy, hey, you will be the deciding factor Saturday. I want you to know that. I'm so serious. I don't want no tackles going straight for the ball. 
He must actually get into his zone. Is it kind of humid outside or am I tripping? Ooh. What? What are you ready? Hey, listen, guys, at the end of the day, we got to run it at the right pace. If y'all are wondering where that saying comes from, it's from Coach Eason. All he says is, at the end of the day. How many times did he say at the end of the day the other day to me? 25. Now, oh, this ain't mine. Oh, yeah, it is. Here we go. Another great day. Hey, Corey, you gotta give me a good pass today now. What in the world? Corey, just pass him. You just thought, you're doing too much. Throw me the football. Goodness gracious. Ah. Slide, slide, all that. Oh my goodness. Ooh, boy, don't got that really, that trigger finger for real. Dave, 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 you better not. You better not, you better not. Boy, you crazy, boy. Hey, Coach Winnie, you late today. And you know what the white team gonna be? Gonna be a baller, shot caller. Luke over there dropping ball. We don't worry about Luke. Watch this, Luke will turn around. <laughs> I'll wait for, hey, I'll wait for you to turn around. Hey, nah, Luke All-American. I ain't even gonna get Luke started. I didn't. <laughs> they gonna take it out on me. Luke, you know it's all love. Don't do that. I know who I got, though. The Mac Attack. J Mac. Hey, we riding this thing into the sunset Saturday now. We can't go out, but no other way. On top. As your roommate, I'm gonna massage your feet the night before. All right, I'll make sure the temperature right in the house. Huh. Is that what? Never fear, J Mac is here. That's the next shirt. And hey, my butt is soaking wet. <laughs> so my butt is soaking wet. Knows how to party. And we're going to LA for the natty. Give us some fan. Noggin. There it is. You so totally rock, squirt. So give me some fin. Noggin. Dude. Hey. Big Alabama. Come on. Old there it is. Here we're just going to see what we can do, we baby. We're just going to see what we can do, baby. You already know. <laughs> I was definitely first. I'm just here so I don't get fine. How you doing today? Doing all right. How are you? I know you hot because I'm hot. Yeah, you look human. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Really a DB. Uh, uh. Got to go see mama. Oh man, shout out to mama. I ain't talking to mama today. Hey mama. Love you. Miss you. Can't wait to see you Saturday. All right, go back. Everything he's doing is he's trying to just run around Kick you most of the time. All right, so set. make him make him beat you inside because you got the athleticism. You know what I'm saying to to, to catch up with that. You hold that, you are gonna have a good day. I know you are gonna have a good day though. Quadzilla is gonna have a day. You hear me? I'm gonna start. I'm already gonna profess that. I'm gonna speak that language. Hey Quads, I need a day this Saturday. I'm already know. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Freaking go, fellas. All right, let's just talk about spring game. Some of you been in them. Some of you had. There's two mindsets going into spring game. There's the mindset of the one who wants to earn a spot, and there's the mindset of somebody just ready to get it over with and go, go to the party that night. Which one are you going to be? All right, because that's going to be the difference in how we play and if we win or lose. All right, now my mindset is always to be the best. I hate to lose worse than I love to win. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's how I feel in my mindset. So when we get on the field, we're going out there to win the game. Right, football ain't changed. It's all about the most physical team. The most physical team always wins. Well, you, it ain't natural to go bang into somebody. So you got to get your mind right going into this game of how you want to think and how you want to play. Some of you, you're earning a position. Some of you, you're trying to get on the darn kickoff team. Well, how do you do that? You go out there and you make plays. That's how you do it. You get your mind right, get your mindset right, and you go out there with the right attitude. All right? We're putting those pads on. There's going to be 60,000 people here to watch it. All right, we need to put on a show on defense. All right, we need to put on a show and we need to make plays. And then I hear everybody say, oh, the Orange team's got everybody. They got all the players, blah, 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 blah. All right, play with an edge. Be mad, 
play with it. Play with the fire in your belly. Come Saturday afternoon. <laughs>
I've been doing it for so long. The deal is this, guys. Understand that the aging process is a little overrated, and I'm an agent, all right? It's checking the box of the main things that you're looking for. Certification. How long they've been certified. What are the history of them doing rookie deals, second contracts? Are they certified with the state? Have they been in any trouble? How are they recruiting you, right? Because again, once you get through the checklist of those preliminary things, guys, you're gonna make a good decision. But understand now, the onus of you getting drafted and getting an opportunity is with you as the player. Hey Clemson fans, this is Antoine McClain, Director of Former Player Engagement and Development here at Clemson. And today was our Agent Education Day. Today we want to give our guys some reminders and some do's and don'ts of the agent selection process as well as the draft. Today we had Kevin Connor today, who's a great agent. He hosts two of our guys with Trayvon Mullen and also Austin Bryant. Hi Clemson family, uh, good to be here with Agent Education Day. I want to thank uh, you guys for inviting me out. I've been an agent for 22 years, and it was exciting to get in here and meet you guys and educate you guys on the process of selecting an agent. We never think about it ending. We never think about it being over, but from a career counting standpoint, make sure that agency has a plan that if ball stops, if you can't catch a run anymore, the NFL says, you know what? We no longer need your services. What's your plan B? Because guess what? It's a business at the next level. Hey, what's up, Clemson family? It's Miles Murphy, junior defensive end, and today we got through with edu agent education. This is a very new experience for me. Honestly, just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me, and I want to do this the right way. One big nugget that I took away was getting uh, getting an agent that not only is just good for the now, but good for the long run after football. Hello, Clemson family. This is Willard Murphy. Miles is Miles Murphy's father. And the important thing about getting the right agent is one, making sure you have an agent that you feel good about, one that you trust. You want an agent that's gonna look out for you for your career in football, but not only that, as well as your career after football. It was great getting a chance to come and listen to Kevin Connor. He gave some great information. Glad we came and hopefully we'll get a chance to take his advice and put it to use to help Miles. Clemson uh, has forward thinking in this process. I appreciate uh, Antoine and Carly and Jeff and the staff inviting me in to educate. The agent process is very important. Uh, it's a very important process in the next steps of your career, but also focus on football first, making sure you're a productive player, you're a high character player, and you're providing yourself an opportunity to the National Football League by what you do on the field. And hiring an agent is the next step in that process, so selecting a high character person, a person of integrity, and make sure you understand that that person is going to be with you post-career, doing your career, and hopefully after your career, as you can see, both on and off the field. Very Done. nice. Very nice. Great success. Great success. I was like, what are you talking about? Are you mic'd up? Yes. Oh, my God. For now. For just, I'm, I'm the test dummy. That's definitely not going on the vlog. <laughs>